The following is a production of Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution. My name is Stéphanie Genouvrier and I am an assistant scientist at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution and I'm also a tenured scientist at the CNRS in France which is a center, the national center of research. Antarctica is on average a continent with the windiest, the driest and the coldest um, plus on Earth. For this reason, in fact, it's very hard to study on pro penguin colony. And the only place where we can uh, study on pro penguin colony over the entire cycle during the year, it's in Terra Deli, because in Terra Deli, the scientific base is not far from the colony. Scientists have been collected like 50 years of data on pro penguin, which is an incredible long time uh, data, but they are required if you really want to study the impact of climate variability on population. And this is possible thanks for the support of the French Polar Institute, Paul Emile Vector. Right now, we are putting a project recently to use this kind of automatic uh, system. So we put what we call a peep tag under the skin of the bird. It's like what we put on cats and dogs. We will be able to record the identity of each bird. So we will be able to know if they are surviving and returning to the colony. The ice is very important for the Emperor um, Penguin because all the Emperor um, Penguin life cycle is tied to sea ice. Emperor um, Penguin breed and raise their chicks on sea ice and they are also affected um, by sea ice indirectly through its effect on the food web. Emperor um, Penguin are diving from the sea ice to uh, feed on krill, which are shrimp-like creatures um, under sea ice, and uh, fishes and squid. There are always a wide range of possibilities when you are predicting the fate in the future of a population. It's like the stock market. There are many factors and those factors vary and they interplay. So no one can predict the future for sure. However, using a robust analysis, you can draw some population trend in the future and draw some probabilities. We took the wide range of possibilities ranging from climate to the population uh, of penguins. So we included all the various effects of sea ice on the on pro penguin. And we also take into account some variability in the sampling and analysis. If sea ice shrinks as forecasted by climate model, the on pro penguin population will decline dramatically by the end of the century. We estimated that there is a 42% chance that the population of emperor penguin will decline by more than 90%. So in other words, that means that if, for example, you give me $3,000 now, there is one chance out of two that I will give you less than $300 back in 2100. So will you give me your money? To learn more about Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution, visit us on the web at www.whoi.edu.